Well, for, for me, Maria Joyner, as a photographer right now, today, in this day and age, digital and film, I'm in a very special position because I was raised in the film school. I was raised, you know, working in the darkroom for hours. I was raised spending, you know, five hours on an image that may not even turn out right. That's how I was raised. And then halfway through my college career, everything became digital. So I was fortunate to be rooted in that fine art school of, of film photography, of black and white, you know, street photography, that, that journalism. I'm rooted in that. But I'm also very educated the last two years of school. All I focused on was digital photography and digital photojournalism. So it's a very great position to be in because you have the techniques of old, you know, the techniques of an old with the technology of new. Now, with that being said, it's very difficult for me as a photographer to think of photography without film being involved. With that being said, it's very difficult to make money in the photography world shooting only film because of the expense of, well, the expense of shooting the film, purchasing the film, shooting the film, developing the film, getting the film scanned into the computer, you know, all of that is, is a huge expense, whereas with, photo with digital, it's so accessible now, you can just go and spend, you know, five thousand, ten thousand dollars on a camera, and all that's taken out. So, accessibility is very, diff very difficult, shooting film and digital on a professional level. On an art level, it's very hard for me to shoot beauty and desolation digitally. I, I really feel like I have to, I, ha I have to have the dark, I mean, I have to have the substance of film to shoot beauty and desolation in that sort of manner. So it's, it's film and digital really has, has brought a lot of, you know, good in the industry to where, you know, I am very exclusive in the fact that I shoot film and I know, I do know a handful of photographers who do shoot film, but it's also very difficult you know, when you spend hours in a dark room and you have a show and the first thing somebody says is, how did you do that in Photoshop? I mean, I do have to say that's very rewarding, being able to smile and say, that's not Photoshop. But it, so it's a very difficult market. Um, the prices of images, like the cost of the actual production of the images and the cost that they sell for is very different. Uh, whereas, you know, a, a, you know, a, a 16 by 20 or a 16 by 16, you know, darkroom print is $500. A 16 by 20 digital print can go for like 40 or 50 bucks, depending on the name of the photographer. So, I mean, I could, I mean, we could sit here and just hell have a whole conversation about the difference between film and digital and how it affects us. But for me personally, it's put me in a really unique position where I have a lot of knowledge of the old and a lot of knowledge of the new. And I really foresee in the next 10 years that there to be a huge revival of film because everybody's going digital. Everybody is going out, buying these cameras, being weekend warriors. You know, I'll shoot your wedding for $600, whereas that photographer will do it for 3,000. So with all that happening, I'd say in the next, you know, eight to 10 years, there's gonna be a huge revival of traditional film darkroom practices.